Okay, we are probably live, I think. So, let me check the dashboard real quick, and now I'm just gonna start coding stuff, because that's what I do. Okay, that looks fine. Okay, doki. Alright, let's burn some time, shall we? So today, I'm trying to figure out how to get my thing, my Python, whatever, to be a meme. I don't know. Something funny. I'm um, just trying to figure out how to automatically open the web browser. So that way I can just open up the journaling application as I go. Um, let's try maybe, so we'll do a test run and we'll do, you know, URL equals whatever they said to do. So I'll just just copy this stuff, see if that works. What did they say? Only on Windows platforms. Only oh these are just con like specific ones. Well that's fine. I don't need to worry about that. Web browser is not defined, let's define it. Cool, it opened up the web browser. That's nice to have, okay. So let's take that and we'll just put it here.
Open the new tab. We'll do this one. So it work? Or does it do it after? Okay, what about we do this first and then we do it? Okay, let's see if that works. There we go. All right, perfect. So I'll open it up for us so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, cool. Then, I don't know, if it's not open. Hmm. Web browser. Now it works anyway. Okay. I know why not. I'm going to put this to false for now. So let's do, I think what we'll do today is we're gonna look at the flask templating. Okay, sure. We wanna see Okay, that seems seems like a decent primer, so we'll get to that. Okay. Was he good in anything? Yeah, he was basketball motorcycle rider. I've never seen him in my life. Basketball. Uh, list. What is? It? 
can we have them embedded? I don't know what context is, but we'll we'll figure it out as we go. It's fine.
Or post, post, and post. Aha, there we go. Okay, we have to use two, two of these for the system to work. Let's try that out. Let's see what goes, what happens. So now we get a list of all the posts in specific. It looks weird, but it generally works. Hmm. Can I render like a part, like a macro maybe? Macro is, I guess, is a simplification, but whatever.
Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jack... Jackson? Yeah, I figured it out. I'm using this thing called Jinja... Jinja... Eh. Oh, so I got... I drink a little... Hello, dude. I drink some coffee. So I came up with this wonderful idea. Wait, is it working? Kind of. Wait. So... I figured out that I could combine Python with some other stuff. There we go. And so you can combine Python with a front, like, instead of writing a desktop user interface, you can just write a web user interface. Because, check, so basically I have it set up where, um, let me see. So if I'm lazy, I can be like, yo, I'm going to run my server, right? And what I'll do is it'll automatically open the URL of the web interface, right? So I'll just open up in there. And then eventually I can just turn it into, um, I'm trying to remember what it's called. Uh, I, uh, electron appli electron application. So technically, <laughs> technically everything's on the computer, but in the internet. But it works fine. Okay, very very low grade user interface, but for now we're gonna have that be what it is. I'm gonna add a padding to it. No, yeah, well, yeah, basic, basically, I, I, I took the CLI system and I just basically generalized it into a bunch of functions. Then I wrote a simple Flask server and then I have an API version, which is a bunch of sub routes, but I'm not using that yet. I'm, that's kind of, that's kind of if I want to implement it to something else, but that's just for kicks. The core part is these functions that basically do everything. Hey, it's simple. It is dead simple. I'm not even using a database. I'm not even using a database, man. Okay, let's see. Uh, so then after you do that, app.route, you post something something. Def uh, view post. Then we'll do something here. Not implemented. Flask is actually really cool. It's really nice. <laughs> I could use Django, but then I would have spent a long time just setting it up to run Django. And I could have, but that's time. Okay, let's see. Um, so I guess a href um, a href view post okay. This will be and blah blah blah. Did you give up on the roguelike? No, I did not give up on the roguelike. It's just uh, I have. This was my first day back from school from winter break, so I decided, and this is a. So I have, basically I have like four or five coding projects I'm ha having to work on concurrently. Um, and I don't like, I don't want to work on one project for such a long time because then my coding skills atrophy. So that's why I'm working on this really short project just for like maybe a couple sessions, more or less. So... I did not give up. I actually that's one of my main projects to, that I'm gonna finish. Uh, I have to finish the the roguelike within a couple of months. It's actually gonna be a graded assignment for my programming class. But thanks for asking, man. 
the flask does. I think the templating system is what's doing the transpiling. No, don't worry. I'm, I'm, it's, it's still gonna happen. I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna stream a little bit of the roguelike probably definitely tomorrow for sure. Thanks. That's, I mean, that's awesome, dude. Nice. Okay. So then I think we can just do get post raw. <laughs> Lo and behold. Lo and behold, I actually do other stuff besides making games. Oof. Oof. <laughs> uh, programming is such a beautiful thing. View post HTML. Okay, now somehow I have to convert this stuff into HTML. No, I have to convert this markdown into HTML. Here we go. <laughs> okay, Py markdown to HTML Python Jinja. Maybe Jinja has it. Jinja 2. Using the markdown, easy install, markdown, content, mark up, oh perfect, p -p perfect, where is what, where is what, he's, it's probably on his Twitch account, do you know, do you know where you should, um, market your stream? Mark up, mark down dot mark down content, render template index content. Is the content HTML? Yes, it is. Why does it say locals? I don't know. Oh, the markdown. The markdown is just on my file system. Also, it's really, <laughs> it's just basically uh, it's journal entries uh, because I just journal every once in a while because I don't know, it's fun. Plus, it makes sure that I'm not bad at writing. Okay, so based off of what they said, all I gotta do 
is just import markdown. Uh, in, and then from flask import markup. So basically the, the more general approach is you have a config folder and there's a config JSON and it tells you where you're, you basically have a working directory where you store all your markdown posts, right? And it just filters through all of it and looks for the markdown more or less. Um, somewhat, I don't, the only thing that I haven't considered is it's probably going to try to figure out how to worry about meta, meh, metadata, but we'll see what it does with that. Then. Yeah, so, uh, okay, that's fine. Can I obfuscate it? Da? Da? Yeah. So what I'm using, okay, load a post from file name. Well, I think I figured it out. That's interesting. There we go. Um, I think I found a library, it's called Python Front Matter. And what this does is it takes... It takes the markdown file and it loads it such that... Why? Just make something spicy. What? Oh, no, 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 I have, to, yeah, but I want to just, oh, well, no, I'm just trying to, the front matter I don't need, the front matter is on the back end. So they load it in, then they can get the content, and they can get the metadata, the metadata is a dictionary. Then they can parse it. If you don't need the whole post, just parse. Right back to plain text. Oh, cool. Perfect. I'm just like installing libraries and just going like, what is, I don't know the best, I cannot explain it that well, but I'm just going trigger happy on the code. I think this works. <laughs> think is uh, good enough. Um, so we import front matter. Content goes. Content metadata. It's gonna do both. Content metadata, which will be. This is a different step. HTML content. Nah, yeah, that's that's a better way of saying it. Okay. 
If it works. <laughs> Front matter that parse raw post data. Okay, does this work? There we go. Post view. One more day left. Then done with finals. Did some live. Oh boy. I love these journal <laughs> entries. Okay, let's let's see. Ah. All right. All right. Let's do this one. Nice. Okay. That actually. <laughs> that actually looks nice. Okay. It's probably gonna need a little bit more styling though, but it, it works a bit. Um, I mean, yeah, it works well. <laughs> okay, it works decently. I mean, that's a better way of phrasing it. So I guess, I guess on here I'll just set it to, to like display the last like five posts maybe or something. Or some maybe, that might work out fine, but. So view posts, cool, that thing, nice, go back, cool, view, new post, we didn't do that yet. Also, hey, Trevor, did you know that um, Palmer assigned us a new uh, project? It's a solo project that we have to do. So basically we have, I think we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, <laughs> wait, one, two, four projects that we have to, no. Me and you, in Spark alone, we have to work on four projects concurrently. That's crazy, right? <laughs> Wait. Fine, 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 fine. Still, that's still four projects, I think.
Okay, you know what? I take pride in the s extreme amount of projects I need to work on. So, I think... There's a system to deal with forms and flasks. I don't know that if that's gonna be great, but oh, okay. They have a little thing for it. <laughs> Getting WT forms. One of them. When you're working with WT forms, you have to define your forms as classes first. I recommend them. Okay. Uh, register to form. Okay. Ah. So let's say I want to design the form. How do I do that? I don't remember how to use HTML, so let's look it up. That was good. That was great. It's good. Okay. Oh boy, alright, this is also gonna be eventually a markdown editor as well.
That looks better. doesn't do anything yet but it's still good so I can be like yo I had cats for dinner and then it's you see it's on there uh, react markdown editor so somehow Fancy. I'm just, this is like all like me just being a meme right now. I feel like I'm just like, ooh, this looks cool. This looks, this looks wow. This works perfectly fine. I'm not gonna overthink it at all. Thank you, mister. <laughs> Am I gonna use serious code? No. Alright. Goodbye. See you in a bit, I guess. Um, hmm. Timestamp. I think I have the thing for generating the timestamp. So beautiful. So beautiful. So I guess column, column, and then content here. Anything else from here? Okay, uses jQuery. Mm -hmm. 
Is there anything else? Mark them. Okay, I think I found the best markdown editor I can use, more or less. I, there's this beautiful one, but... This one looks really nice and smooth, and it has all the fun kicks and giggles. So then I think... And that's that, and then you can just, you know, do whatever on it, I think, I suppose. Insert image. Oh, you have to do a link to it. Okay, it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna put that link in, and I think we are good. Where is this one? I think we are good for today, because I gotta go, and I have to run over to my part-time job. But I think I made some progress today. Alright, if you guys found this live stream interesting, uh, please be sure to follow and all that jazz. Um, usually I live stream at least, you know, about an hour a day, give or take. Um, and then like I sometimes archive the posts on YouTube, but uh, yeah, um, I'll put the link to the code if someone wants to take a look or anything like that. But um, that's it for today, more or less. If I do work on this more tonight, I will, I don't know, I'll continue to live stream it. Or I might just put off, put it off till tomorrow and work on something else. That, you know, so. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Alright, see everybody. <laughs>